okay so i'm quickly going to create a character for my online game okay this is a basic character movement um, setup we're going to have some ui on the screen like walk run and idle okay so i imported the character this is going to very be very quick guys so it's not going to be a very long video okay so you can follow along if you want to but um, i'm actually using copper cubes default um, scene it's one of copper cubes default scenes okay um, since it's already set up with um, nice environment settings light lighting and stuff okay and the shadow soft shadow and stuff like that okay so um, i'm busy scaling my character i'm just going to swap my character with this with this with this uh, soldier it's a zombie i created in mixamo fuse mixamo fuse if you don't know if you don't have that application i'll leave a link in the description so you can download that application for yourself okay you can create awesome characters for you there's also some clothing and stuff you can uh, put on your characters uh, but this is copper cube and i'm creating a character that i'm going to use um, online on an online game i'm busy with okay um and as we all know we need some ui to, we need some touch buttons on the screen ui that um, so that we can press so the character can move um, you need to do some scripting if you want to use your keyboard or your mouse for that instance then you have to do a lot of scripting but um, I'm just gonna give him some basic animation since I'm not gonna move him manually it's going to move uh, on a path I'm gonna set the character on a path okay so it will stop automatically where I put some actions and behaviors um, events on proximity and stuff okay so there's the character is sized the same like the soldier I'm gonna go to the idle button attributes behaviors and I'm gonna set, change the set animation to uh, animated mesh one okay and now we also have to change the animation name and I'm gonna put it on idle so that, part, that button is now set okay I'm gonna go next to the button walk button okay just change it from soldier to animated mesh one because we are not going to use the soldier in this uh, scene anymore change the animation name to walk okay and the last one is going to be a run the run button and we do the same with this one okay i'm gonna change it to animated mesh one we're gonna leave it at a run and that is basically all you need to do just leave everything as is okay there you delete the soldier and there you online now localhost there's walk press run it's going to run He's doing some funky things but we, you can sort that out that is uh, all about um, your your local host your internet but um, I have some games that is finished and they are working properly okay but that is mostly pixelized pixel games it's pixelized it's more like a minecraft you know I'm trying to keep a 3d game very low poly so I can create a 3d game and see what you can see there the shadow is also you know pixelized it's not so smooth okay guys this is just a basic tutorial I'm showing you how to uh, swap out the character with some of the scenes in copper cube this is for online localhost project okay